As you can see, we have been working on the balcony railing and the staircase railing. So the handrail is basically made up of two components. Basically we got some timber framing from Country Mark Log Homes to be able to do the handrail and then we made the spindles out of a three quarter inch rebar. And as you can see we've got a six by six post over here at the base of the staircase and then we've got a six by six post that comes from the ground and goes all the way up for that post there. Now off to this side we're actually hanging our posts off the side of the timber framing for the rafters or the floor joists I'm sorry and using that uh, to bolt our post to up there. So up here are posts on the balcony railing they actually have a lag screw that goes in that hole that uh, lags those over to this uh, floor joist and then those holes will actually get a wooden plug we're going to put a wooden plug inside of those holes to help make and hide all of the hardware that's connecting this all together i'll show you another little point of view of the holes down here on this post at the bottom of the staircase you'll see some holes <coughs> And those are hiding the lag screws that are holding that post on. And then as we turn around, you'll see there's two holes there for the bottom rail. And then there's two holes there for the top rail. That's got all the lag bolts in there that are holding these on there. And then we're going to use wooden plugs. We'll cover that all up, sand them down, and that's all going to look nice and neat when we're done and you won't see any screws. So at the top of the handrail you'll see the same thing. We've got a plug up here where we've got a screw inside of it. Now this one is a log screw. It's a little bit smaller and it's actually in there at an angle and it is angling down into the handrail. And then I've got one down here with a screw that angles up into the handrail. And uh, that'll all get covered up and covered. Now one thing, this top rail it actually has a couple holes out here that's got screws through it and that handrail is actually covering it up. So you don't see those screws because the handrail itself covers those screws up. As you can see the pretty well this one side of the staircase is complete. The spindles are made out of three quarter inch rebar. We bought those in 20 foot lengths so we had to take those and cut them down to the spindle length and then we run them on a grinder to kind of chamfer the ends so that they would drive or run in easier into the hand railing and then we wire wheeled them got all of the rust off of them so they were nice and smooth then we ended up uh, laying them out and we painted them with flat black paint so that they would look more like a wrought iron and uh, I think it, it ended up turning out pretty good. Now on this handrail, you can tell it's not complete yet. We actually have our bottom rail in, and then we've started driving our rebar in there. And uh, so we gotta get all our rebar in there before we can set our top rail. You can see over here, I've got some 10 inch log screws that are sticking out. This is all put together with either log screws or lag screws. And uh, this is a very thick post, so I had to use the, the 10 inch log screws in this section. And uh, once we set that top rail on, we'll have to get all those lined up and then we'll use a rubber mallet and we'll get that pounded down until it's the right height. We'll go ahead and put our screws on this side. And then in this post over here, there's going to be another screw. I don't know if you can see it right here and then that will hold in the other side of the railing. It's at the end of the day right now, so I'm gonna come back in a day or so. We're gonna go ahead and finish this all out. Hopefully we'll get all the wooden plugs in and I'll show you exactly how the staircase turned out. Well, the handrail is all done. We actually got it complete and the loft floor complete up there, so everything's pretty well finished uh, on the loft and the and the railing. So we did get all the uh, the holes covered up 
in the railing that uh, where our bolts were. So we ended up just taking some inch and a quarter dowel rod and we cut uh, basically our own plugs out of a dowel rod on a miter saw and then we uh, covered up all the bolt holes. So everything looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and head upstairs. Now you can see that the staircase is still unfinished so we still need to sand and polyurethane uh, the steps and uh, we're still contemplating whether we're going to uh, polyurethane uh, the handrail. I think it'll be a lot more difficult now that we got the rebar on there uh, but that's something that we may do here in the future. Now one thing that was on the staircase video is this last step uh, was just a flat piece of wood there that came up to the loft and it didn't look the same as the rest of these steps and it was suggested to put a faux piece of wood there so that it looked like a timber frame, frame step was at the top so I thought that was a pretty decent idea so I went ahead and I did that and you can see that the top step basically looks identical to the rest of the steps. Now the hardest thing to do probably in this, I mean we had to make sure that everything assembled in a certain order and pre-fit everything before we put our rebar in there, but the hardest thing was probably the angles. Uh, this angle over here, it probably took me three tries before I could get the, uh, the whole pattern and everything the right pitch so that everything lined up and was straight up and down. Uh, so it took me a few times on that one and uh, but on this one over here it on this side you can see that this is a laminated beam and that's a permanent beam so I only had really one chance to be able to drill the pattern for the rebar and get everything lined up perfectly and um, kind of show you what this section here looks like but uh, we just took our time on it uh, double checked and rechecked everything before we drilled any holes and before we cut anything and by this time I didn't have any extra material left over either so I mean I had one chance because this was my last section of this handrail material so we just took our time and we got it done and it turned out pretty good now you can see upstairs here in the loft We've got the floor down, everything's pretty well complete up here. Um, that's my desk up here, that's the only thing up here right now. That's where I uh, do the budget and make the videos, edit them up here. We got this, um, this wall blocked out up here because that's where all our plumbing vents and uh, our furnace vents and hot water vents, they all come up through the roof in that section. Plus we have our HVAC ducts. So we got three vents up here that help cool the loft. So we did wall off that corner over there. I personally thought about walling off uh, larger sections, but my wife wanted it to be open all the way to the sides. And let me tell you, I have hit my head so many times on those beams trying to lay that floor and, and do everything. So uh, I think it looks good, but uh, it's not really user friendly to be able to get back in there and sweep the floor and to mop the floor and keep everything clean. But uh, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, as we look up here in the loft, you'll see I've got a couple uh, lights up here and I put those on the beams that we put in between the regular rafters there or the re regular uh, roof ties and um, that's probably my go-to method of hanging a light here in the timber frame because you can mill out one of those beams and make a pocket for your electrical box and these other beams are not wide enough for you to actually put an electrical box in to hang a light fixture in so I think that uh, my go-to method would be to put a beam in between to hang your light fixtures. That gives you a lot more flexibility on hanging a light. Let me show you the view I have here from the desk. So as I'm sitting here at the desk, you can see I can look out here and I can see the west end of the pond. So it's a pretty nice view. 
One bad thing is, is this is one of the very few windows that is not under the porch, so it does get direct sunlight in the evening. So uh, it can be a very bright spot at certain times of the evening. So we may end up having to buy, uh, may end up getting some blinds for that window. So to kind of finish the floor out, on the edge of this beam, or on the edge of the loft, you would see the subfloor and then you would see the flooring. So to help cover that up, we ended up putting some uh, trim here on the sides to help cover up the end of the flooring. So that trim piece we left a half inch higher than the actual floor and then we put a piece of cord around here on the edge and nailed that against the trim piece and that helped cover up the edge of the hardwood floor and that gave us a little bit of a lip so that uh, nothing would it would help prevent things from being able to roll off the loft and fall to the first floor. So we look over here on this side and you can see that we just basically the last piece of tongue and groove we cut it off where it was a half inch higher so that we could come and put that quarter round on the edge and cover up the floor. So I think it turned out pretty good. On the kitchen cabinet video I said that the uh, top of some of these cabinets were not stained and you can see that there is um, there's four cabinets that end up being where you can see them that don't have the tops stained. Now they did leave us some stain so that we could try to uh, stain the top of these and try to get them to match the rest of the cabinets. So we have not done that yet. Um, so we may try to stain the top of these or do something else like maybe a little thin piece of plywood that's stained, I'm not for sure. But we're gonna try to do something with the stain that they supplied in the future sometime, not right now, but uh, to try to get these to match so that the view from the loft doesn't look so awkward when you're looking down at the kitchen. Well, that's the loft and the uh, staircase railing. I think it turned out pretty good. We got more videos to come as we uh, finish things up here on the log cabin. Thanks for watching.